And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, as you can see, I was just with Brooke, and now I'm back here in the uh, Weather Center talking about our warm temperatures. We did see a high of 38 in uh, Green Bay today. We had temperatures in the lower 40s in Manitowoc and Sheboygan, 45 in Manitowoc. Now, we are going to be starting officially winter tonight at 10:19 p.m. And talking about the winter solstice, it was the shortest day of the year in terms of daylight. Eight hours and 49 minutes. Now from here on out until June 21st, we will be adding our hours to 15 hours and 33 minutes. Overall, a very beautiful day out there. We had lots of sunshine, a few high-level clouds passing through, but overall a great start to the weekend, and these conditions will continue as we go all the way into the foreseeable future. Right now, we are holding on to some pretty quiet conditions across uh, Storm Shield radar in northeast Wisconsin. A few high-level clouds passing in from the northwest, and that'll just really be the big story over the next few days. Very very quiet conditions. We've got storm systems up to the north, a high pressure down to the south, some more powerful storms uh, across the Pacific Northwest where mountain snows and coastal rains causing some headaches, some flooding issues, and then down to the south, a, a larger amount of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico providing showers and thunderstorms over the southeast. So just a heads up if you're going to be traveling anywhere. Right now, the central part of the country will be quiet over the next few days. Southeastern parts of the country and also down to the southwest, let's say California, or maybe Salt Lake City, could be dealing with some travel impacts. So just a heads up, and you might want to check with the airlines to make sure there's no delays or any cancellations. For us, we're going to be nice and quiet. So your flight, if you're leaving out of here, won't be delayed from weather. It's going to be very nice and comfortable. Tomorrow, a beautiful sunny day out there. As we get into Monday, pretty much similar as well. Just a few clouds starting to build in from the morning hours, but overall a nice and sunny day once again. Now with the warm temperatures, we will continue to see the decrease of the snowpack. And as we go towards Christmas Day, it does appear that we will be seeing uh, the snow slowly diminishing up towards the north. Right now, we are holding on to 36 degrees. Winds are calm right now, so no wind chill factor. Sunset was at 415 tonight. We are right now across the rest of the area pretty comfortable in the upper and mid 30s. 32 right now in Shano, 29 to Kanto, 39 in Manitowoc, and it is 36 in Oshkosh. 30 for an overnight low temperature. Winds southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour under mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, we warm up to high of 42. Winds out of the southwest once again. Again, at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We slowly start to drop those temperatures down as we get into the beginning of the work week. Tuesday and Wednesday, temperatures will be in the 30s, but remaining quiet. Could have a few light rain showers on Thursday, and then as we get into Saturday, perhaps a little bit of a wintry mix with temperatures in the mid 30s. But every single day of the next seven days will consist of above average temperatures. Our normal highs for this time of year are supposed to be in the mid 20s, Regina. It felt really nice today being in the 40s. I mean, you could tell the difference from last week to today. Yes, it, it certainly really nice. has. I mean, we're starting the first day of winter, and it feels <laughs> more like the end of winter. Right, but I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, I can't <laughs> but for complain. some, for the snow over Christmas, That's maybe. That's the only downside. Yeah. For the snowmobile trails, uh, not looking too good right, right now. All right, but we still got to enjoy the above average there temperatures. There you go. All right, Gino, thanks for that. Well, coming up next year.